Pakistan's military says it's killed one of the most senior al-Qaeda commanders who's been accused by the U.S. of plotting to bomb New York subway. Adnan Shukri Juma was killed in a raid in Pakistan's South Waziristan tribal area, according to an army statement. U.S. prosecutors say Shukri Juma recruited and trained men in 2008 for attacks in New York and London, both of which were foiled. He was considered the chief of al-Qaeda's global operations, a position once held by 9-11 mastermind Khalid Sheikh Mohammed. Well, Asfal Ashraf is a fellow in international diplomacy at the Royal United Services Institute. He joins us live from London. Thank you for speaking to us. How much of an operational blow has this dealt al-Qaeda? It's huge. Effectively, he was the number two in the organization. Uh, the leadership, which is now with Ayman al-Zwahiri, effectively goes through him, and all operations are coordinated through him. And in many ways, he is the primary uh, window for the outside world for Ayman al-Zwahiri. So he is a very significant kingpin in the whole organization. What does it tell us about the effectiveness of the Pakistani military when it comes to cracking down on al-Qaeda elements within the country, given that their priorities have been questioned on this in the past? Well, this is uh, significant in that um, this is probably one of the first uh, few uh, examples of a senior AQ commander being killed by the Pakistanis. Most of them, particularly most of the operational commanders, have been killed or captured primarily with U.S., either U.S. Uh, direct involvement or indirect involvement of the U.S. So this seems to have been a very much a Pakistani-led uh, operation, a very successful operation. Uh, they killed... Uh, not just uh, him, uh, they also killed one of his aides and have captured three or four others, which obviously provides a great deal of intelligence possibilities for unlocking and capturing other key individuals and possibly um, getting to Ayman al-Zwahiri himself. And of course, this operation took place in the South Waziristan region in Pakistan, which has been considered a sanctuary for uh, Al-Qaeda and the Taliban. Uh, what, what needs to change uh, in terms of policy, whether it's government policy or indeed military policy in Pakistan to stop this area from being the haven that it has been? Well, that's going to be very difficult. You see, um, the, that, that area has always been um, administered locally. It's been federally administered, rather, but it's been managed locally uh, right from the, uh, the setting up of Pakistan. It was always envisaged that the people, the tribal people, would live under their own tribal laws. Uh, they would just have some federal administration. And so the Pakistan army has limited um, influence and capability. The Pakistan government has limited influence and capability in that region. And the policy has always been um, uh, blowing hot and cold. Occasionally we have these very determined drives by the Pakistan army um, into these areas, but they often fizzle out and the militants are able to um, survive and redeploy. In this particular case, it's very interesting, Asim Badra, General Asim Badra, who tweeted the capture of the Al-Qaeda commander, also subsequently tweeted the fact that um, the uh, Chief of the General Staff had declared that this was um, going to be the first of many and that this would not be a safe haven for terrorists. So it would be interesting to see if this was just a rhetorical statement or it represents a very determined and strategic push to get rid of al-Qaeda and get rid of other militants in that region. We can only wait and see what happens. Afzal Ashraf from the Royal United Services Institute in London, thank you.